it starts with a scream. could open up so wide open. Membrane and muscle trembling for 40 cycles. I'm a big, dumb animal. And nothing that I have ever seen or done with this life would indicate otherwise. And it started down deeper. Yell rising from the pit of my stomach and coated in viscous yellow. Echoing over 260 square feet of lungs and dropping open the floodgates with sound. I've been flooded by the lies and the misconceptions of all the other big, dumb animals. And there's Brando in his cave waiting for the apocalypse to come. The neck half opened, you can see the separation of the meat. It's fresh and it's red and it's newly exposed to the air and the oxygen. And even the insides of big dumb animals like us ain't supposed to be showing from the bone while we're still alive. But this is the nature of revelation. You don't get to ease into it, gentle like dipping your toe into the blood to see how cold it is. It's cold. Trust me, it's the ice that's flung itself headlong through the veins of a hundred heroes or killers, depending on which sides of which flags you happen to be standing. But heroes be damned because there's nothing to sacrifice. So there's a there's a fear so deep that it can't be defined, and there's a there's a resolution so pure that it can't be it can't be denied, and there's a hard drive spreading up the back of the brain, but the needle's gone haywire, writing random bits electromagnetic into the surface. But crypto photo holographic info is embedded with those decrypt keys will be emblazoned upon wrong neurons, and there's a chance, uh, a small one, that I could rise above this empty, hacking, coughing, dying existence of big, dumb animal. And where it starts with a scream, it ends when the steam is run out, when the engine is seized in rust, when the eyes have shut to better see the inner turmoil of my voice gone to rusting whispers with the telling of dread worn memories. When the pain in my skull is flashed up like powder and the circuits bright out and the muscles gone slack, when the time has come inevitably to this. When six quarts of antifreeze have taken up residence in my veins, forcing six quarts of blood to fill the once hollow cavity of my lungs. Forcing six quarts of air to spill out past my lips and frowning red flex. And I'm trembling, trembling, rising above that little sea with the notes of a new song vomited out in oxygen rich red. Uh. And for the first time, I hear music again. For the first time again, amazing. And then it ends.